Hi. My name is uh, Richard Poultry. Most of you know me by Dick Chicken. The maximum sentence for a graffiti is, I believe, a $5,000 fine and up to one year in prison per offense. Let's say hypothetically I've done 500 to 1,000. Do the math. They buff me out so hard. Like, people erase me, people rip down, the building owners, the, everybody does. Everyone buffs out my stuff because it, to them, is offensive. It says dick or it has a cartoon picture of a penis, whatever. And I mean, really, who wants three foot dick spray paint on their building, you know? <laughs> so I have to get up twice as hard to make my shit, you know, felt. And uh, that's why I, I can't really say how many I've done. I've done quite, uh, quite a few but I take no responsibility for any of it. But the transition from street to gallery is happening as we speak. People see it on the street and then they're like, that guy's hilarious, let's bring that guy indoors. And it seems like people are usually like, whatever the buzz is, you know, that's what they're gonna flock to. You. And there's a buzz around my work because it, like I had stated previously, man, people talk about it. Before we even finalize any details for the show, like when it was still just an idea that we were gonna do it, I treated it as if it was already finalized, and I went to work. As a result, I've been like a hermit for the past month. So fast it went by, and like, the show is tomorrow. But I don't think I'm gonna go to my show. They, everyone expects me to show, but I'm not, what do you think, I'm stupid? I'm not going there. It takes one person to be like, hey, congratulations on the show. And then the, the cop that's standing behind me and is like, inconspicuous sporting jersey is gonna like slap some cuffs on my wrist and arrest me, you know? I stopped writing in 1995. Big up to Cheese and Sosa from the Bronx. Um, he has like over a thousand hours of uh, community service and he's been like locked up for a year in Rikers Island for tagging up Cheese on the FDR. But you know, that's a serious consequence. Doing time in Rikers is not fun. You know, I had no idea that I would be so quickly put up into the top tiers of like the most sought after graffiti artist in New York. Twitter is invaluable, right? So uh, people started getting back to me and they're like, dude, you're really wanted, you know? And I'd be like, what are you talking about? And they're like, well, we got arrested for some other shit and they were asking us for like two hours if they knew the dick chick was. And they were like, you know, so I've gotten a bunch of responses like that. So here I am packing up my shit and moving <laughs> again. So. That's pretty much what we're up to right now. People can say what they want about like the craftsmanship of the stuff on the street. They can say whatever they want about that. But what they can't say, what they cannot take away from me, is that I have more balls than they do. Like, I'll go out and hit bigger spots more often, high profile stuff, more than them. And I'll continue to do it. So the NYPD has like a police department and headquarter, like, you know, police station in the subway system there. And uh, I think the idea is hit something huge, hit hard, hit fast, right under their noses. And, you know, I'm not specifically trying to antagonize the police. I, I don't think that that's wise. That's how you do it. I think the idea is more like something that's big, high profile, and is daring. One day I was just drawing in my notebook and I came up with this character. When I drew it, I laughed. I thought it was hilarious. And that's the point, you know, it's like to make people smile, to, to just pierce through all the din, all that crap that's out there, stop people in their tracks, and force them to react on a gut level. I think it's funny as hell, man. I feel like he's sticking the dick to the public. I found the dick chickens in this exhibit. Exhibit had yeah. bigger They have dicks. bigger flanges. Yeah. <laughs> they have more flanges. More flanges. As you can probably tell, the work on the from the work on the street to the work that I'm doing for the gallery, there's a big difference there. We'll see. We'll see how it's received. I I think 
So far, so good. Like, I'm really feeling it. I think the work is is pretty hot, and like, when it's in the space, it should be even better. So far, so good. I like the transition from walls to pop art. I especially enjoyed the Campbell soup containers. I'm gonna to continue to make art under my real name. I'm gonna to continue to make art under the Dick Chicken moniker. That's my Bruce Wayne to my Batman, so to speak. Like, you would hope that like both can exist and one stays anonymous. So there are people out there who know who I am, but those people are very few and you would hope that they would keep their mouth shut. And I'm just gonna to continue to do what I do and I'm gonna cross that bridge when I come to it. I mean, life is risk, you know? So it's like, yeah, this is not something everyone would do, but it's like, this is what I do. Everyone loves a good dick joke.